Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Playframe and to Portal and to the back area where we're definitely not allowed, but that's fine because that's how we live. Uh, right, I already explored this office. Um, can't get through there. Only way. All right. Hello. But thought I heard her for a second. Now oh, whatever. She's withholding cake from us now, but that's also fine. Eh. Whoop. Hello. Um. Hello. Yeah, okay. Um. I should move, huh? Yes, I think I will move. Hey, could you break this open for me? Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. Now, um, yeah. Could you... Ah, you know what? I'll leave you here just in case I need you. Yeah. We're fine. Okay. Uh, all right. Moving on. Um, need to get in there. And I know just the way. I thought I might want to do this. Excuse me. Um, you. Yes, you. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Nope. You didn't see nothing. That's right. Ha. Sucker. Okay. This way, and then this way. Eh. 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 Can't. Can't reach. Come on. It's gotta be some portable surface. Eh. Come on. It's gotta be. Meh. Maybe. Hmm. Mm, didn't think so, but it was worth a try. I mean, I think this is what I'm supposed to do, or where I'm supposed to go, anyway. Hmm. But yeah, I don't... I just see more metal walls that are not portable. Hmm. Maybe... I can get something to stand on. Is there a... Is there a cube around? Or anything? Maybe. Or a nice chair. Something. Wait. Thought. 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 Alright. That'll work. Okay. Uh, shooty friend, I have need of- oop, right. I have need of you one last time. For a really brilliant scheme. Do you want in on my brilliant scheme? Shooty friend. This is a once in a lifetime missile shooting opportunity. That's not quite what I hoped would happen. Why don't I, um... Why don't I position that a little bit better, hmm? In retrospect, this is smarter. Where are you? Yep. Hello. It's me. That's more like it. Thank you. Can I get out? Ah, got out. Awesome. Uh, nope, I need that. I need that. Keeping that with me. Can I? Yep. Thank. Oh, nope. Come on. Yes. Ha ha ha. Mine. I'm keeping it. There we go. Yeah. Figured it out eventually. Um, okie doke. Going back this way. What an exquisite puzzle game. So, good. Okay. That's fine. We'll just do this. And then load <laughs> and then that good good yes 
There we are. And then... Yes! Perfect. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, we kind of like slide now. <laughs> what is this stuff? Uh, let's get out of here, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope, nope. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. Gonna have to be tactical here. Ah, jeez. Okay. Um. Gonna have to be tactical without getting ourselves in the line of fire. Ah, okay. Well, that's a bad start to my tactical plan, but... Come on. Come on. Yes, that's it. That is it. We're in. Gotcha. Get out of here. Thank you. Next. You. Perfect. <laughs> uh, their voices. All right, now in here. Yes. Okay. Uh, here perhaps next. It was really working. Um. Then, yeah, okay. Yeah, I should have known better. Uh. Okay, I see two left. Probably more, but two is all I can see right now. Nope, three. Three left. Who saw me before? Oh, you. Okay. Well, you're as good as any. Who am I indeed? All right. <laughs> yep. Uh, adorable, deadly turrets. Hello. Hello. Target lost. Hey. All right then. Oh, still going, huh? Whatever. You just chill down there and don't shoot at me, okay? Ah, there's another one. Dang. Okay. Um. Okay. Gonna need to resolve this issue. Please put me down. Okay. That'll do it. All right. So. That's probably where I want to get. Can I get an angle on this? Mm. It'd be so cool if I could just get a sliver of an angle. No. Nope. <laughs> well, here. I got another idea, I think. Eh. From here, I can get an angle at this one. And that's fine. So we'll start with that. And then, from this side, boom. Boom. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay. Uh, nope. Bad. Bad. Hmm. That'll take care of one. Let's, um... Do that, I guess, and then... Missed. There we go. <laughs> You're right there. Good idea. Okay. Uh... Uh... Anything? Maybe? No? Well, here, tell you what. This'll work just fine. All it needs is a little momentum, is the thing. Whee! Whoosh! And here we are! Perfect! And then... Yeah! Can't be stopped. All right! Look at us go. This place is huge. We've been down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is just above where we were before. Cool. We out. Eh. 
Hmm. Which way? Ah, same. <laughs> same thing. I love those little subtle details. Valve was so good at that stuff. Still are, I guess. I've only played a little bit of, a. Uh, whoa. Only played a little bit of, a uh, Half-Life Alex, But it's got that old Valve magic. Well then. What have we here? Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. <laughs> By myself. Because you'll be dead. Uh. I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse somehow. <laughs> it's nice to meet you finally. What a neat design too. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. I'm gonna. Just give me a sec. I'm looking around. Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. <laughs> Does sound like a thing you'd do. Ooh. Okay, fine. Do touch it. Pick it up and just stuff it back into me. <laughs> uh, here's a button. Let's be honest. Neither one of us knows what that thing does. <laughs> just put it in the corner and I'll deal with it later. Well, let me go, um... This looks like a, uh... thing is probably some kind of raw sewage container. Go ahead and rub your face all over it. <laughs> well, there's that. Okay, it only works for a limited time, though, but it's an incinerator, Maybe though. Maybe you should marry that thing since you love it so much. <laughs> Do you want to marry it? Well, I won't let you. How does that feel? <laughs> oh, she's good. So what are you, anyway? Have I lied to you? I mean, in this room? Trust me, leave that thing alone. Hmm. Hello. Weird thing. Where are you taking that thing? I don't know. I am being serious now. That crazy thing is not part of any test protocol. I think I have an idea where I'm taking that thing. Yes. Yes, I believe Just I do. That thing and stand still. I'm not going to. I'm going to set it down for a second. Do some portal creation. Think about it. If that thing is important, why don't I know about it? I don't know. Good question, though. Alright, then. Well, let's see what this does. You're kidding me. Did you just set that Aperture Science thing we don't know what it does into an Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that- Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. <laughs> so get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Huh? Oh dear. That core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. It'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Ah, uh, she's great. Okay, well... Alright. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. I will. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. Catch! The rocket really... Ooh. Hey. What? That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It may choose for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. <laughs> well, hello, what little thing. What is that? This is a grave. <laughs> it's more trap. What did I ever do to you? Ooh, the difference between it. us is that I can feel the pain. No, <laughs> you don't even care, do you? Where are we going? Sorry, I can't really hear both of you at once, but... Oh, hey, you're the lady from the test. <laughs> Hi. 
What's that noise? I Is love that the dialogue. dialogue. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, what's in the dream? Did you hear me? <laughs> I said you don't care. Are you listening? I am not listening. No, I'm sorry. There's too many good things to listen to at once. That's it. I'm done reasoning with you. Starting now, there's going to be a lot less conversation. You think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is... In base four, I'm fine. <laughs> I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. You've managed to destroy that part of me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to, I can't get the neurotoxin. I'd like to point out that you were given every opportunity to succeed. Dang it. There was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, your companion, Cube. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends because of how unlikable you are. <laughs> it says so right here in your personnel file. Unlikable. Liked by no one. A bitter, unlikable loner whose passing shall not be mourned. Shall not be mourned. That's exactly what it says. Very formal. Very official. It also says you were adopted. So that's funny too. <laughs> She's so petty. I, of chaos, I know I need to like survive and all, but like I want to hear all the dialogue. You die, right? Guess what? I know. You're going to find out firsthand before I finish explaining it, though, so I won't bother. Here's a hint. You're gonna want to pack as much loading as you can into the next couple of minutes. All right. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It makes shoes for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. I think this thing is reciting a cake recipe at me, which is very cute. I highly recommend looking up, like, people have gotten all the audio files for all of this dialogue out of the game so you can hear it kind of a little bit more clearly and isolate it on its own. And I highly recommend it, because there's just so many great little jokes and bits hidden inside that you can easily miss. So deadly. Joking. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the deadly was a massive sarcasm quote. You could take a bath in this stuff. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. To me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less funny. All right. I'm make the cake when I'm gone. This will be tricky. You, look, you're wasting your time. Where is it? And believe me. You don't have all yeah. the time. Ah, oh, missed. What's the point anyway? Survival. Well then, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain scanned and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you. Which it's just about to. Don't believe me? Yeah, I'll put you over. That's you. That's a dumb sound. You've been wrong about every single thing you've ever done, including this thing. You're not smart. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Where did your life go so wrong? Are you trying to escape? Things have changed since the last time you left the building. What's going on out there will make you wish you were back in here. I have an infinite capacity for knowledge, and even I'm not sure what's going on outside. All I know is I'm the only thing standing between us and them. Unless you have a plan for building some safe country reports and return it, this place isn't going to be safe much longer. Good job on that, by the way. Sarcasm save self test complete. Stop squirming and die like an adult or I'm going to delete your backup. Stop! Okay, yeah, I deleted it. No matter what happens now, you're dead. You're still shortly around a little, but believe me, you're dead. The part of you that could have survived indefinitely is gone. I just struck you from the permanent record. All right, all right, enough goofing. I wanted to hear more dialogue, but we're running out of time here, so let's, uh, let's hurry this up. A mathematical error I'm about to correct. Here we go. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It makes shoes for orphans. Nice job breaking it here. 
Um. Well. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we're out. Thank you for assuming the party escort submission position. <laughs> Oop. Oh dear. Very good. <laughs> and that's Portal, everyone. Test assessment report. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. And here's credits. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. And I am not talking over this song. Enjoy. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of the science gets done and you make a neat gun for the people who are still alive. I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Even though you broke my heart and killed me, I'm torn So many cute formatting jokes off to the... Ah, and here we are. 
new title screen. That's what a cute little like formatting jokes over in the uh, lyric script off to the left there too. Like, ah, oh, what a great game, right? So, you know, we got a few more minutes here. There's one more thing I want to show off about Portal, and it's a thing that was like included in a lot of Valve games in its time, which I really love. And that is this down here, developer commentary. I'm going to uh, start a new game here. Eh, let's start with the first one, why not? All uh, right, good. Okay. Welcome to... Game name here. Hopefully you've already had a chance to enjoy the offbeat perspective and new game mechanic of Portal. To listen to a commentary node, put your crosshair over the floating commentary symbol and press your use key. To stop a commentary node, put your crosshair over the rotating node and press the use key again. Some commentary nodes may take control of the game in order to show something to you. In these cases, simply press your use key again to stop the commentary. Please let me know what you think after you've had a chance to play, as we think we are just at the beginning of taking advantage of this type of gameplay. I can be reached at gaben at valvesoftware.com. Thanks, and have fun. It's an in-game developer commentary, and it's a wonderful addition. So it's the same game, except you got these little node things that you can interact with and click on to uh, hear people from various departments who worked on the game talking about like the uh, creation, creative process, design, uh, like art, music, writing, like, like all of it. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. And there we are. So, like, this is such a great idea. Here, let me give you a, a demo here. One of the things we learned from Narbacular Drop, our student project that became Portal, was that players often thought portals took them into other spaces, or even other dimensions. To help fight that notion, we start players in a visually unique room with memorable objects, so that when they walk through a portal for the first time, they have a clear point of reference which communicates the idea that they're still in the same basic location. For instance, the radio, which is playing an instrumental version of Still Alive, helps as well by providing some audio continuity. Like, isn't that so nice and cool? I wish that this was a very common thing for games to do. And I understand why it's not, because it's an additional feature which takes an additional, like, bunch of work to implement and bug test and, like, just do all the creative work for that could be time and effort put toward the game itself. So I, I completely understand. <laughs> I completely understand most studios choosing not to do this. But this is, like, this sort of thing can be so valuable. It's absolutely critical that players quickly wrap their heads around what a portal is. We noticed early playtesters grasped the concept much more quickly when they caught a glimpse of themselves through a portal. So we deliberately positioned this first portal to ensure that players will invariably see themselves. It's so nice. So Valve did this for a handful of their uh, games right around the same time, around the time of the release of the Orange Box. Uh, Team Fortress 2 has a bunch of these as well, and like those commentaries are great. I think... I don't remember if, like, Half-Life 2 or the Half-Life 2 episodes had them. I can't remember for sure. But uh, a handful of games have done stuff like this, including some... Uh, have Double Fine titles done it? I remember the remake of, or the remaster of Grim Fandango added, uh, added some developer commentaries in a similar fashion, and that was also really great. Like, I just, I love this touch. I've learned a lot of inf interesting information from this. Or I did before I worked in games myself. Like, I learned quite a lot from uh, listening to these things and going back through the game again, but getting to hear the devs talk about uh, just the work they made. We put the player character in an orange jumpsuit to reinforce the fact that she's a test subject. Visually, the warmer colors helped her pop out against the colder tones of her environment. Some playtesters were wondering why she could fall so far without getting hurt the way she would have if she were in Half-Life 2. In response, we added a mechanized heel spring to her lower legs. 
Afterwards, there was no longer any question about why she could survive such long falls. <laughs> what a smart little fix. These frosted glass observation rooms make the player feel as if they're being watched at all times, while keeping the identity of these watchers a mystery. The rooms serve a practical purpose as well, since we often use them as convenient and logical light sources for the test chambers. That makes sense. Wouldn't have thought of that. Portal is effectively- Oop, Pause. Okay, I thought Gladys was going to start talking at me. Portal is effectively an extended player training exercise. We spend a huge portion of the game introducing a series of gameplay tools, then layering those tools into increasingly difficult puzzles. This layering starts here, where we train the button and box mechanic, before introducing the more complicated concept of portals. Oop, missed. There we go. Back on it. My aim. There we are. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. It's just such a great feature, and I really love it. Well, we'll do like a few, we'll do another room or two here, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up for today. I just wanted to let you all see this very cool thing that I wish was more common. Because it's great educational information. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. And like, what's more, it's not just educational, it's entertaining as well, or it's meshed in the middle of an entertaining experience. So it's the sort of uh, education that a lot of people who probably wouldn't bother sitting and watching a full GDC talk or whatever, like, I bet a lot of people would play back through their favorite game and listen to those interesting little commentaries. I mean, it certainly worked for me, but then I was also the sort of nerd who would also watch a GDC talk, so... <laughs> Bad example, perhaps. Uh, we wanted players to feel safe while standing in a portal, so we never kill them or destroy objects within a portal that's closing. Instead, we either push or teleport objects out of a portal as it closes. There's another one over there. Yeah, it's just a great idea. There's so much complexity and so much design thinking that goes into the creation of every game that uh, I bet the devs of just about any game, large or small, would have tons of interesting information to share. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. There mm, we go. Uh, come on. There we go. Granted, I guess there's a lot of genres of games that it would be a lot trickier to do this in, like uh, any game where... <laughs> like, this is a game where you can stop and think or stop and listen to a thing for prolonged periods of time. Not all games are like that. <laughs> Still, though. We very deliberately introduce and train each gameplay concept in Portal so that once players reach this spot, we're confident that they know what a Portal is and roughly how it works. Early versions of the game let players stumble through the beginning without always understanding what was going on, which really compromised teaching new concepts. The puzzle you just finished was designed so that stumbling around will almost always lead to a dead end. Completing the puzzle requires walking through a minimum of five portals in a specific order. This kind of gating, in which a solid understanding of key gameplay concept is required for success, helped standardize the learning curve of the game tremendously. It's good stuff. Anyway, that, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little short playthrough of Portal. I'm so glad I've gotten to revisit this because it had been such a long time. Thank you, patrons, for choosing a very good game for me to fill this week with. I've still got a day left, but that's all right. I can find something fun for us to play tomorrow. But uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, we've played so many games. Uh, we've got a full playlist tab full of playthroughs that you can uh, check out if you want to uh, watch any more of our uh, stuff here. 
we also release new episodes every day, so consider subscribing or supporting us on Patreon uh, if you want to help us pick games like this. Because <laughs> I do usually look to the patrons for help and have them vote on stuff whenever I'm needing help choosing a game or a bonus playthrough or something. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for something else. Take care, and goodbye.